hello friends welcome back to the video so in the last video we have seen how we can populate the data to list view from a swift uh, model class so we have learned that in the last video now we are going to see how we can show the address to the list view and also how we can show the images of the user to the list view so let's start first with uh, showing the address so I will write directly here user dot address and yeah there you go you can see it's directly reflecting there but let me give the same font to it also and make sure you follow the English coding indentations okay but it's not looking that good let me change the color of this let me give it a green and how about this orange okay somewhat better and it will be good if we display them oh, first we can display prashant and username and below that we can give the name of the address so for that to display everything vertically we need vertical star and just add this code inside that and you will be done and there you go okay but this is actually not looking good the alignment is not good so for vstack we have a property called alignment and we will align it to the left side and we don't need these parameters so let's remove them and let's see how it looks okay better now what i want to do is i want to display images of the users here on the left side and then on the right side i want to move it little bit on right side so what we can do is first we can add an extra property here let's name it uh, images not images user image make sure you follow the camel casing it's a good, good practice then here now we want to give user image and what you want to give here let's assume you have user one so this is how you can create an extra property for the abstract and just copy paste that data and just make sure you change the name of the images here you have to give it three four okay fine and that's done okay so this is how you give pass the user image name and actually we need images we don't have it now so let's add that okay now let's rename them okay wait i have copied this completely okay user one let's copy it user 2 user 3 user 4 and user 5 okay so we have the users now let's go here we have users in our data also fine now it's time to display the users so how we can display so to display user image on the left side and this data on the right side we need to display the data horizontal so we need edge stack horizontal stack so let's first paste this inside the edge stack now there will be no much not much difference here because we haven't added the image yet so let's add the image and we have the image inside user dot user image i hope it will show the images okay let me call the resume button and let's wait for it to get loaded okay so now we can see our images are there but it's not a good state those are very big images so how we can resize them so in ui kit you use constraints but here it's much easier just use the resize resizable property it will resize them a bit but still it is not looking good so what we can do is we can pass our own frame and inside frame what we can do is we can pass width and height so let me give the width of 50 and height
height of same 50 so that it will be square image and there you go you have this list almost looking good so let me just run the code and see just like a normal table view and by just using this small bunch of code your you are ready to show all the data here okay so just make sure you have the right spacing in your code because it will not be always like you will be only working on this code so make sure the other person working on the code are also for them it will be easy to work on it okay so this is good but uh, what we can do is we can refactor this code a bit because our body is having list okay then we have so actually for now for single uh, list it's looking good but what if tomorrow we have some more views inside our main view like we have buttons and we have some triggers and everything we can have so that will make it a little bit messy so we should always refactor our code and for that what I can do is I can create a different class for this each cell I what I am I'm going to display here so this is my complete cell so what I can do is I can cut this and I can create a new or you can instead of cutting it directly you have one more me just select that or you have this refactor option also here but instead of that you can just tap on this command and click and you will get uh, an option like extract sub view so just click on that your extracted view will come at the bottom and you will have chance to rename it so i will rename it as user cell and there you go you have the user cell and your code looks much better now but you have some errors and we need to solve those errors so what we can do is this now the new cell doesn't know which user it has to display so basically we need a user from the main class from where it is coming so let me get user and it will be a user so this is how we'll access the user here but we need to send the user from here now it's giving error here that we need to send a user to that uh, extract set, uh, view so here we are going to send the user from yes, basically just pass the user and it will receive the user here and it will get the user details here so just run it's already running there will be no difference but yeah we have uh, optimized our code and now it's looking better so this is how you can uh, you can refactor your code easily yeah so yeah this is how your list looks and in the next lecture we'll see how we can go to a new view by tapping on this cells so yeah if you have any doubts feel free to ask i will be more than happy to help you okay thank you bye